Good morning, happy campers. Time to rise and shine. Another beautiful day here at Camp Living Water. Time to roll out of bed, get some fresh clothes on, and get ready for a beautiful day. I'm directing this camp for 37 years. The camp was actually started uh, through our, our church that I was, I was attending at the time. There's actually a missionary that was working with a, a native reserve, uh, and so that's how the connection came. And then this, this, as I say, this farmer, he had these buildings in his uh, pasture, and those became the things that they offered to us to use. For two years, the youth pastor was the, the director, and uh, then he moved on from the church. I was in Bible school at that time, so I came home from Bible school, and I uh, just went to see the, the people whose farm this, this camp was on, and I said, I just really felt the Lord wanted me to be a director. Pastor Larry is amazing. He's very faithful, very kind, uh, very generous with his time. He, he doesn't get paid um, to do this. Instead, you know, he just does it because his heart is for the native children. Oh, the Lord is good to me, and so I thank the Lord for giving me the things I need, the sun and the rain and the apple seed. The Lord is good. The thing that really defines our ministry now uh, happened probably five years into Camp Living Water. We're all in these construction trailers, and at the very end of the construction trailers, we had a little bit of an open room that we use as our chapel, and so... We had uh, gathered the kids, the lady that was uh, doing the teaching. I don't even know if she was playing a song. I think maybe she just finished praying. And all of a sudden, the Spirit of the Lord just came. And uh, all the kids started to weep. And uh, we didn't know what to do. We just finally decided we just have to let God do what he's doing. So we just went around and started praying for the kids and we realized that God was, was healing the brokenness of their hearts. Thank you, Lord, that you are able to do it, Lord. You're able to do it exceedingly abundantly. Kids above. tell me stories about just having to leave the house and uh, finding some, some little shack or something to sleep in because they don't feel safe when their mom and dad are drinking and the people are coming over and violence, things like that taking place. That's what we really see Camp Living Water. It's a week for them to come. And know some safety and know some time where they can feel someone loves them. All the fun that he can have, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. I've been coming here since I was five years old, so for about 19 years, and um, it's just been such a impactful part of my life. Every single year, I'm always a part in some way. The first time really connecting with Barry probably when uh, he was a bit older and, and uh, he started to step up to be a, a bit more of a leader. We saw that in him and uh, he started to um, attend Bible school. He came to a little short-term Bible school that we had in, in BC and, and stayed with us there. You would think that after eight weeks somebody would be you know very tired but at the end of the year it really shows his strength and integrity because he's the one of, in the camp, the entire camp, that doesn't give up, doesn't surrender, he doesn't take days off. I've really learned that God is the God of the details. You know, God takes care of details, and, and uh, it's those little details that are so important, and he always has those already planned out. We don't charge five cents, 10 cents, and nickel or dime, nothing for the children to come. When I was five years old and when I got on that bus, I couldn't afford a $5 entry fee to anything. When I came, my life was transformed, and so many kids' lives are transformed. You know, it's, it's good to see kids come back year after year and um, to see that we can keep having that input in their life. Their regular year is not that victorious. It's a, you know, it represents a lot of struggle and stuff like that, and they come back to camp and renew their relationship and find some strength, a little strengthening in that. I just know that, you know, God has really had a big impact in his life but God has used him to make an impact also on all the children over the last uh, 39 years. My desire is to see them just break through, break free from those things of the past and begin to walk out in a new uh, life, a new victory.